Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to The Nicole Speaks, where I give my feedback and commentary to the latest entertainment and news from a positive point of view. <laughs> Almost forgot the intro. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can get those notifications. And let's get it cracking. All right, guys. Hello. I said I'll be doing another video. So here I am doing another video. And this video, as you can see, talks about my weight loss journey, weight loss in general for a plus size woman or just anybody in general. So the reason for this video, of course, I'm on a weight loss journey, a get healthy journey, a don't turn back to my old ways journey leave that sugar alone journey don't be walking up in Publix to get that cake journey turn your head to, to the turn your cheek away from you know what I'm saying that candy journey one piece of chicken on your plate journey you know what I'm saying um, don't overdo it journey put that juice down and pick up that water journey you know what I'm saying that type of journey take your supplements every day journey that's what I'm on so I just want to take you guys along and I think I did a little mo did a little uh too much in the beginning but I had to you know what I'm saying let you know that that be the struggles of being a fat person a person not even just a fat person but the struggles of being some someone who has food addictions and you know what I'm saying so used to eating processed foods and junk foods it's like a real addiction those ingredients in that food is not good for us and while we can sit here and say that you know what I'm saying I like to keep it real we can say that 24 7 all day every day but it's up to us it's up to us to make that decision to stop abusing our bodies and that's what we're doing abusing our bodies yes for the moment that junk tastes good you know what I'm saying that sugar let me tell you, my downfall is sweets. Well, actually, I ain't going to say is sweets. I'm going to say was sweets. Because Publix cake, cupcakes, um, what else? Their, their carrot cake and their cookies, all of that stuff is good, honey. But it's not good for you, of course. Leads to diseases and just being heavy overall um, puts you at risk for more diseases. So... I don't want to do a journey where, you know, I just lose some weight, which I have done before. I've lost over 100 pounds and ended up putting it all back on. So I don't want to do a journey where, you know, it's just like, oh, I lost 100 pounds or 200 pounds. And you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like, and then go back to your old ways, you know? No, I just want it to be... The only way I won't go back to my old ways now that I see is just completely turning away from those unhealthy foods. And a lot of times, um, you know, people, they praise, which is okay. It's okay to have confidence as a plus-size woman or a plus-size man. You know, you got some people um, who love plus-size men. You got some people that love plus size women and that's fine but at the same time like how long could you keep up with that body weight and something without something happening you know what I'm saying so how long could you go on before something happens and that's that's true um it's not comfortable nobody I don't care what nobody says people eat uh, out of emotions um, some people have other issues where they turn to food or whatnot but nobody nobody can tell me that yes you may be you know confident and you may not and I can't even say that you may not care because deep down inside some people will say they don't care about what people say or how they view them but still they care you should care enough about your health and especially if you're married um like myself or you have a child um like myself you know you should be 
more considerate especially having a spouse even if your spouse is okay and you know they're addicted not wow let's cross that not <laughs> they're not addicted to <laughs> plus size women if they're uh okay or um attracted that's the word <laughs> attracted to you as a plus size person you know what i'm saying like they should still want for you to be healthy they should want for you to lose weight you know and that's how it is with like me and my husband he says you're beautiful i love the way you are he said but if you're willing to lose weight and you want to lose weight i'm gonna back you 100 percent. i think it's a good idea you know your health comes before everything else so you really have to i mean like you really have to put your foot down because there's so many times and I've been through that. There's so many times I've tried all kind of diets. I've tried all kind of <laughs> diets online and soup diets, liquid diets, um, going vegan for a while, going vegetarian. And it's like, man, I'm trying to do all of this, but I haven't tackled that real issue. And that's food addiction, addiction to the junk food. Um, another issue I had was eating late at night. And my husband, he still has you know that problem where he feels like he's hungrier at night like late night i'm talking like one two three in the morning so our solution to that we talked about is just going to bed on time instead of staying up usually we stay up and we play playstation yes i do like gaming a little bit we play mortal kombat we play um recently my nephew put us up on 2k so we play 2k um Street Fighter, uh, a few other games, Grand Theft Auto, things like that. But it's better to just go to bed. You got to make sacrifices to, you know what I'm saying? You have to make sacrifices to better yourself. So going to bed will stop, you know, us from eating late. Then that's what we have to do. I also got some... Um, tips online or whatever which are just tips that you should know already but they definitely um you know gave me a little more insight as to how we're addicted to these foods like the ingredients um that they put in there when you ride by a, a mcdonald's and you smell those fries cooking like i'm over all of that like seriously i'm completely done and that stuff isn't good for you and I know it's not good for you because every time I eat you know I used to eat something like that like McDonald's or Burger King it would like drain me of all my energy and I'll just fall out and go to sleep you know what I'm saying so I know it's not good for you so as a plus size woman or a plus size person we really have to put into perspective a lot of different things. Like I said, the um, stop being selfish and knowing you have other people that care about you. So do something so that you could be here for them, with them, and they don't have to be mourning over you. Two, um, being honest with yourself because I live on the second the second floor. And we don't have any elevator. It's just like a two-story uh, apartment slash condo building. And we have to climb the stairs, which is which I'm fine with. You know what I'm saying? But there's a difference. There's a difference. Even when you eat certain foods. For example, if we go somewhere and we come home and I have to climb the stairs, you could definitely feel the difference. You feel like you're breathing more. But if I, if I go out... And we go to the park, we work out, and then I come home, climb the stairs. It's like, hmm, it's like easier. My breathing is like, it's easier to breathe. You know what I'm saying? I'm not huffing and puffing at the end. When you're walking, you could be walking in the store, the mall, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me, I don't need to take breaks. And that's a good thing because I do move around a lot. But it can get to that point if you get to a certain weight or you become stagnant or just like um, not as physical as you should. You know what I'm saying? It can get to the point where you 
aren't able to walk long distances. Thank God I don't have to deal with that. And I've never had to deal with that. But before it gets to that point, definitely want to drop that weight. So that's a part of being honest with yourself and just pretty much saying like, you know what? Yes, I'm a beautiful person. Yes, I'm pretty. Yes, I feel, you know, I have this confidence. You know, I don't care what nobody says. But at the end of the day, come on. Nobody wants to be big. Nobody wants to be um, fat all their lives, you know? And that should definitely be the goal. Let's step away from not even thinking so much about the physical, you know what I mean? But let's think about the health. That overshadows everything. So, welcome guys to my weight loss journey um i will be documenting like some weight uh differences and weigh-ins and things like that um like i said in my other video i'll be doing um maybe like some healthy recipes so i don't eat meat every day um meat is good protein you know it tastes good but i don't eat meat every single day because Sometimes you just get tired of it, you know, and sometimes you opt for like a salad or um, maybe like a, a meatless dish, like a vegetarian dish of, I get like vegetarian noodles or veggie noodles and make like a, um, that mixed with some mushrooms, mixed with some stewed tomatoes, some onions, peppers, some good little, you know, herbs, Mrs. Dash. I have some Mrs. Dash. So there's different things that you could do. I'll get more into detail with that but feel free like i said if this is your first time here um subscribe like i'm gonna do a lot of different things on the channel but this is just one of the things that i want to do and document and i feel like it's gonna keep me you know holding myself accountable and i'm open to um uh, uh what do you say I'm open to positive, um, constructive criticism and advice. Um, right now, I do take some supplements. I do take one-a-day vitamins. I also have some other vitamins that I tried out. And I really like them, but it doesn't. They don't have all of the nutrients that one-a-day has. Um, they're called Pink or something. I got them from Amazon. So I do take uh, one-a-day women's. I do take faithfully black seed oil. Um, I actually bought this. I'll show you guys. This here is called Shield. It's like an elderberry. Um, I want to do a little more research. Like I took it for maybe like three days in a row, but I want to do <laughs> some more research on it because I saw this thing. You know, Aunt Google will have you thinking that you about to die or something, but. I had um, Googled elderberry and it just popped up with dangers and uh, I'm pretty sure all supplements or too much of anything has dangers, but that kind of like had me. But yeah, I take that and um, some iron. Sometimes I take iron. Iron really and truly uh, <laughs> puts you in the bathroom. But um, not a pleasant thing either because it makes it difficult. And y'all can read between the lines. But yeah, so this is my video um, about my weight loss journey. Remember, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Nicole Speaks. Remember, stay positive. Stay safe. Coronavirus is real. People are losing their lives. Um... You know, a lot of people think it's a hoax, this and that. And I'm pretty sure that there may be some instances where people are messing with the numbers and this and that. But regardless, you know, nevertheless, it's still a real virus that's taking people out. So be safe, social distance, wear your mask, and that's it. Don't allow anyone to rob you of your peace. Until next time, 